on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays and the Texas Rangers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go, and on the hill in this one, Nathan Evaldi. Boog, this guy usually turns in a very good outing. His teammates really enjoy when he's on the mound. Everyone seems to be loose, which can help the offense be a bit more dangerous. So if you look at the opposing lineup, they're hoping he doesn't just settle in. They want to make this an uncomfortable start from the beginning. George Springer stands in now and watches strike one. Just missed. The wind of the pitch. Not even close there. And the count's even at two. Wouldn't chase that time. The kick, the 3 2. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. One away. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count up as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. One out, base is empty. That one hammered center field. Tavares going back on this one to the warning track, makes the catch. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ball one there. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. Next one misses. And that's ball two. Two out spaces empty. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Bounces into the outfield. That's a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. And into second easily with a two out double. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now it's Dalton Varsho. First pitch misses. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. That one missed. Hit hard on the ground to short. Over to low. And that is the third out of the inning. Blue Jays held in check. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Back in Arlington, getting the nod in this one, Kevin Gossman. What should we keep an eye on here? Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. And that one fouled off. The pitch. That's inside. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Wyatt Lankford stepping in for the Rangers. And first offering is fouled off. Gosman, an all-star a season ago, he features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, and he works in a sinker. Strike two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. So up next, Josh Smith. The shortstop takes a ball. Next pitch is outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So it's a good take by him. And that one fouled off. Two outs. And there's a ball. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. And the right hander deals. Rip to right, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Met it first, and now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. And a foul ball. Smith leads off first with two down to the inning. That catches the outside corner, and it's 0-2. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One left for Texas. We played an inning. No score. Back at Globe Life Field. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. Fastball for a strike. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well. Really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Garcia makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now it's the DH.
right through there for a strike. Ivaldi, multi time all star. He features a four seam fastball, a splitter, a cutter, a curve, and he works in a slider. That one missing inside. Mike Fillmore, our plate umpire, very consistent with his zone. Chris gets a lot of praise for that. He does, Boog, and I think that with any umpire, you really just want them to be consistent. Fillmore's a guy that does a good job back there in that way, so people around the league really appreciate his consistency. Lankford hauls it in, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. And first offering is fouled off. No score here in the second. Next offering is in for a strike. And delivers outside. Got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. Blue Jays go down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And we're back. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. The pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. And that one is lifted in the air. Dives and he can't hang on. And that's a leadoff double. Just a blue pit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So. He just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Josh Young. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Man at second. And it's through for a hit. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. He's safe. Well done. Drives in the run. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Now the catcher for the Rangers. Jonah Heim. Fastball for a strike. And the 01. Great take right there. Showed some really good discipline. Breaking ball coming in. You see it well, but don't trust that it's going to hang on for a strike. Nice job. And a pinch. That one misses. Two balls and a strike. And a big swing and a miss. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Got him looking. Not sure about that call. Pitcher might have gotten a friendly strike three. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch and probably fooled the umpire a little bit because there was no budge at all. Now here's the Rangers DH, Ezekiel Duran. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one.
the 0 1 and a foul ball look out that ball was smoked man I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines just ensure safety for the fans last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit swing and a miss struck him out and yeah, there's two away We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle and right there clearly he was in swing mower but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Here's Leody Tavares. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed but he can absolutely move and it is a factor in his game. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Young, the runner at first with two gone. And a foul ball, he stays alive. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. Hit in the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. That ball right there landed in what they call a no man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. They got to go a long way as well. Simeon takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next offering is downstairs. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two on, two outs. Jack swing. Went around. Strike one. Right to the plate. Ripped on a line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. One run across. Now a relay to the plate. He's in there. And they lead by three. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. So digging in, Wyatt Lankford struck out on just three pitches last time. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. And a pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, number nine. Joey Ivaldi back to work. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, 
And that's a little bit high. And now it's one and two. Just off the outside part of the plate. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. It's a leadoff double to start the third. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. So, man aboard, Leo Jimenez. Next up for the Blue Jays. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A gigantic blast. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 3 2. Chris, that ball came out hot. So let's see what StatCast has to say. Yeah, it really did, Boog. 111 miles per hour off the bat. And. A really nice launch angle as well. Just a beautiful swing from start to finish. So the batting order turns over. Here's George Springer. That one finds the zone. 0-1. Two runs across in the inning. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Way out front for strike two. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Just off the outside edge. Now one and two. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And he deals. Up the middle, Smith. Fires over to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And next for Toronto, Spencer Horowitz. He's 0 for 1. On the ground. Fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. And that's a two bagger. Waste no time there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. That misses the zone. 1 and 0. Oh. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And the pitch. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. A shot to the opposite field. It's their second home run of the inning. Just like that, they move in front. It's 4-3. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. 
One down. Now the Toronto four hole hitter, Dalton Varsho. Still only one out here in the inning. Swing and he breaks his back. Young hauls it in for the out. And there are two outs. The back, the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Flied to right his first time. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Snags it on the run. And that's the third out. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 4-3 ball game. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Back in Arlington. And the batter will be the shortstop. Josh Smith. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. That misses, and it's one to know. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Varsho settles under this one, brings it in. And there's one down. Now back, right here. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 1. The Jays up by a run here in the last half of the third. Hard hit left side. Fires over to Guerrero, and Garcia is out. Nathaniel Lowe up to hit, doubled in his first A.B. Swing and a miss, strike one. Pulls that one foul. Two down, nobody on. And that's down and away. The next offering misses. It's two and two. It's a good take. In the air, right field. Springer on the move. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now the DH, number 36. The wind and the pitch. Just missed. Well, these Blue Jays doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. Next pitch is outside. There's a strike. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. And now two and two. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Ernie Clement getting ready to hit. Into the outfield base hit. The throw is wild and it gets away. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now the left fielder. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Left hand hitter waits just off the outside edge. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Jose Urania appears to be getting loose. And the righty deals. late on that fastball great spot to be in right here for the pitcher we can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play hacks and misses it's a strikeout just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there not much to it and I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say how did I miss that but you know what happens Leo Jimenez next up for the Blue Jays he's already homered in this game and a big swing and a miss Two on, one out. The shortstop takes a ball. The pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, that was a tough slider right there. He couldn't get a piece of it just to try to keep the at-bat alive. And hitters will tell you that slider, when a guy's able to really tunnel the pitch where it looks like a fastball and then late has a really good bite, so tough to lay off of because you've made the decision. You don't want to get beat by a fastball, and then you swing and you miss. You go back to the dugout shaking your head. Springer in the box now takes strike one. Strike on the inside corner. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Two outs. Ball one there. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and two. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. 
He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Bottom of the inning. Now, here is Josh Young. Here comes a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Well, these Rangers showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. Sliced hard, but foul. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. And now it's even up. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And he held back according to Rusty Valentine. Kicks and deals. Fights it off. You'll see another. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Makes a nice running catch. And there's one down. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. His first at bat was a strikeout. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And that's in there at the knees. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. One down, base is empty. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. And he handles it himself for the out. Now back, the designated hitter, Ezekiel. And next is the designated hitter, Ezekiel Duran. Struck out swinging his first time. Just missed. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. This one in the air right field, sizing this one up. Makes the catch inning over. And we're back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Spencer Horowitz. Ivaldi back to work. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Well, these Jays, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. Everything seems to be clicking, and the six extra base hits in the game kind of tells you everything you need to know. They're not getting fooled up there at all. Kicks and fires. In for a strike, and a count one and two. Yeah, that's too high. The 2-2 two -two now. Grounded to low. He'll do it himself. One away here in the fifth. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. foul ball this guy who grew up in big league clubhouses got to be a nice feeling Siggy when your father played the big leagues and he passes down all that wisdom they say you win yeah and beyond that all the other 
men in those clubhouses that sort of take you under their wing as a son or a nephew and show you some of the tricks of the trade. It's just invaluable, that type of experience. Got it by him for the K. Chris, third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Two outs, base is empty. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, Dalton Varsho. There's a strike. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. Righty delivers. And ball one. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next pitch is outside. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Breaking ball inside. And now three and two. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. And down on strikes he goes. And the Blue Jays go down one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, but they hold on to a 4-3 lead. Back at Globe Life Field. And now the center fielder, Laoti Tavares. The right-hander back to work. And that is in for a strike. Going one. Well struck. Deep right field. Way back. And out of here. He powers that one out of here. And we are tied. It's 4-4. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Here is Marcus Simeon, one for two. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And now the 0 1. That one missed. Nobody on, nobody out. Last half of inning number five. One, two now. And another ball. Breaking ball, and that got him. He had two strikes on him. And he hit him. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch. That grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. Langford, 22 years old. A former first-round pick in 2023. And a base hit on the line. 
Lead runner around second. Here comes the throw. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So runners at the corners. Nobody out. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. The pitch. Check swing, and that's a ball. Simeon at third. Lankford on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Brendan Little getting ready to go. Tied at four. That one the other way. And that's a fair ball. Coming home. In to score from first. It's six to four. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Brendan Little on the pitch here. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. Just missed. The pitch. Close, but called a ball. And it's 2-0. Called strike, a sinker at the bottom of the zone. Runner at second, nobody out. Right side, hard hit. Guerrero steps on the bag, and that's the first out at the bottom of the fifth. That's a good piece of hitting right there. It's early, but you still want to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score. That's exactly what happened, so you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Low in the box again, takes a strike. Here comes the 01. That's a little bit low. Run around at third, one gone. Next offering in there for a strike. That strike two. A pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs and one in scoring position. That misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Oh. 
There's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Two outs. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. In comes the run from third. It's 7 4. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch, and he just misses. And now the lefty. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Varsho pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that is that. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Five innings complete. It's the Rangers seven, the Jays four. And welcome back to the ballpark. Leading off, Alejandro Kirk. And here it comes. And that one pulled foul. In the air right field. Nobody can get there and it's a foul ball. Here's the 0-2. Lined into right. Garcia calls it in and there's one away. Now it's the DH. And that one clips the corner. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. The Blue Jays trailing by three, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Next offering way off the plate. And that one hammered Lankford going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two outs, base is empty. So up next for Toronto, Ernie Clement. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Fastball for a strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Next offering is in for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it'd surprise a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Up the middle, Simeon sends it to first, and that is the inning. Down in order go the Blue Jays. And they're on the wrong end of a 7 4 score. Back in Arlington, bottom of the six. Now here is Ezekiel Duran. The wind of the pitch. The 
Kawhi to kick the pitch. That one fouled off. The pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Up the middle. And that one handled. Jump throw. Awesome play there. Now batting center fielder. So up next, Laoti Tavares. It was a homer for him back in the fifth. Just a solo shot, but an important swing in this game. Yeah, and it was a beautiful swing as well. Everything just came together timing-wise, and he blasted it out of here. Going one. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings through that one for strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Inside and it hit him. Well, his curveball isn't really considered his best pitch, at least in terms of command. It's kind of more of a show me to have the hitter thinking about something else. I wonder if he'll keep going back to it after missing so badly, though. Simeon batting with one down takes the strike good approach right there you want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate stay out of that double play hammers that one deep left field and forget it a two run homer and they tack on to their lead it's 9-4 Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. A hitter recognizes that breaking ball that's up in the zone. He hopes that it just comes down enough that it's a pitch he can attack. Well, he was right on top of that one. Really good swing. Wyatt Lankford stepping in for the Rangers. And first offering is fouled off. Bounced out to short. Throws to first. Two away. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Smith. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And it's a double, making him three for four on the day. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Man in scoring position with two away. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Adolis Garcia. Right through there for a strike. Here's your one. Bounce to third. Clement. Slings to first. And Garcia is out. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Texas plates two on the homer. It's opened up now, 9-4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show.
Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Chase Anderson. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Here's the left fielder. And a pitch. Swing and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Jimenez, up for the third time here, watches that one miss. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Out there to center. Tavares settles under it. He's got it. And there's one down. Now batter, the right fielder, George Springer. Back to the top of the lineup, and it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Way high. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Matt Festa up and throwing. Chafin getting loose as well. Anderson ready to work. Off the plate inside. And that's ball three. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if he'll walk you. Down the middle for a strike. And now three and one. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's ball four. Now batting. Second base. Spencer. First and second, one out. Spencer Horowitz next up for the Blue Jays one for three on the ground could be two fires to second for one back to first double play and that's it for the inning starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away seventh inning stretch time it's the Rangers nine the Jays four. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Nathaniel Lowe. The wind of the pitch. Gets the call. That's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely. Try to hit the ball out of the park. Do what he loves to do. That missed by a lot. And that's ball one. And another ball. Next pitch is downstairs. And there's the automatic. One down, base is empty. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Jonah Heim, the next to hit, 0 for 3, a fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Ripped on the ground a second, 
Fires over to Guerrero. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They're on top, however, 9-4. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Matt Festa. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a pitch. Festa in his second season he features a slider a four seamer and he works in a two seamer the 1 0 started to go after it now a look down to first he went around says Rusty Valentine right handed reliever he swings and fouls one off. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Lankford makes the grab. One down. And now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And a good eye there. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. There's the strike up high, and it's one and one. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump and defense shouldn't either hitting wise you can struggle you can lose your mechanics but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way and this is what this guy does here's the catcher to hit Alejandro Kirk That one drifts inside. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. There's a swing and a drive. That one back. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Tavares returns it to the infield. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start the comeback. He was all over that one. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow-through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And it's out of here. He jacks that one out to left. It's 9 6. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed, they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game. And just like that, they're back in it. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. So two down, Ernie Clement now at the plate. That one misses, and that's ball one got to keep things airtight defensively right here on your toes ready to make a play if you can get this to the ninth with a three run lead it should be a W two down nobody on and that one a little below the knees now two and oh
and the pitch and another ball Vesta maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run Chris yeah it seems that way you know pitchers they can come out feel good but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit and they start trying to throw instead of pitch they're not trusting their stuff Clement started after it tried to hold up now a look to first no swing that's ball four he walked him pretty easy walk right there last pitch wasn't even much to think about runner at first with two away now the left fielder and he hits a ground ball right side and it finds its way through for a hit throw in holds the lead runner at second two on now with two away so out of the bullpen for the Rangers David Robertson first and second two down and next for Toronto Leo Jimenez Gets him to chase after that one. In the air, left field. Brings it in for the third out. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's now 9-6. Back after this on the show. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tommy Nance. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Leody Tavares. Right through there for a strike. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. Duran on at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is outside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ryan Yarbrough up and loosening in the pen. One and two here. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. And a pitch. That to right. Springer makes the play. Now batting left fielder. Wyatt. 
Man at first, Wyatt Lankford stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch just misses. Two outs. That one a little bit high. Two and oh. Right through there for a strike. Here's a 2 1. That one ripped, but foul. At the belt and fires. Now a screamer into the outfield. Springer there makes the catch. Rangers leave one, and they won't add to their 9 6 lead. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Kirby Yates. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Yates. A very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. And the slider just misses. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and two. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Horowitz stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Base is empty, one away here at the top of the ninth. And that one's a little bit low. Ball two. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that, you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that stuff is just too good to fail and now three and one and he's got deception in his delivery and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters he just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up it gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate even though they know what the velocity numbers are One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Two down. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Hit to right, and that should do it. And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers slug their way to a win in this one.
Plenty of runs to go around in this one. Not a great day to be a pitcher. These hitters looked like they were having a lot of fun. It's like they knew what was coming. Nine six the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chambi saying so long.